Good day, everyone. This is Marge Brickell from SkinnyOnLowCarb.com. Today, I'm going to show you how quick and easy you can set up my fitness pal on your computer so that it will automatically calculate your net carbs. Now, this will not do it on an app, but it will do it in Google Chrome or the Firefox browser, and I'll show you really quickly how you do that on each one. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to MyFitnessPal.com and make sure that you're logged in. From there, you're going to go to the lower right of the My Home tab and click on Goals. This is going to bring you to a page where your fitness goals are listed. As you can see, I have mine set up so that the macros are 5% carbs, 70% fats, and 25% proteins. That's pretty much the norm for those of us that live a low-carb lifestyle every day. Now, it's very easy to edit it. You just click on the green Edit button. You'll see that I have mine set at 2,000 calories right now. I don't count calories. I actually do not track all of my macros. That's what they call all these little things like fats and proteins and carbs because I just count carbs. That works for me. And I have found over the three plus years that I have been living this lifestyle and working with clients and readers that if... I make it too hard, I would still be fat because I would have quit. And those of my readers and my clients that quit are usually those that have made it too hard on themselves. I am a firm believer in finding substitutions for all those high fat delicacies that you like and to keep it super simple. Kiss, really kiss. And then you can do this every day of the year. So at 2000 calories, it shows my carbohydrates at 25. Now that is total carbs. Okay. But if I wanted to show 20, I can very easily change that to 1600. Click on save changes. And now that will be reflected anywhere that I use my fitness pal. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide over here to settings just to the left of premium. Oh, it reminds me, I want to tell you there's some rumor going around that you have to have a premium MyFitnessPal account to be able to track net carbs. That is not true. What I'm showing you right now, I am doing with a freebie account. So you see that I have a lock and a no on custom daily goals. That's because I do not own a premium account. I don't need a premium account and you don't either unless you opt that you want to pay for one. Anyhow, sliding back up here, we're going to set goals by clipping, or we're going to click on settings. We're going to come down here in the account settings to the mi very middle of the list and click on diary settings. This is going to show you what's going to show up in your daily diary and for all of you that look at my and use my daily me sample menus, this is what you see. The nutrients tracked are calories. That's required. That's always put in there, even if you don't track them like me. There are drop-down boxes, like so. The first one should read carbohydrates. The second one must read fiber, because to get net carbs, this is going to subtract the fiber from your total carbs. Now, this is not going to deduct alcohol sugars, but stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'm going to show you a way around that. You, I also track fat, which again is at 70% for myself, protein, and because we have a large number of diabetics that use our low carb challenge uh, group, Facebook group, I put in sugars so that I track that for them in my sample menus that I put on the website. So if you change any of those, just make sure that you scroll down and that you click on save changes before uh, exiting and you automatically get all those. Okay, now that's all you have to do in my fitness pal online to set this up. Now, when you are on Chrome, you are going to then click on the link that I give you in the article here on the website, and that is going to bring up this screen for you. It is an add-on to Chrome. It's called Tamper Monkey. You can see mine says added to Chrome. If you have not set this up yet, it's going to just say add 
to Chrome. All you're going to do is you're going to click on this green bar up here at the top and just let it do its work. Okay, simple, easy peasy. Next thing you're going to do is you are going to click on the next link that I give you in the article and it is going to bring this up. Now you can see mine says reinstall because mine's already installed on my Chrome browser. If you were doing this for the first time, you are going to get a warning that says never install any code that you aren't familiar with that you don't know is um, okay. This is totally okay. You have my word for it. Don't worry about it. You will just click on the install button, let it do its work, and then when you come back over here and you go to food, you're going to find that it is going to put net carbs. You saw that that popped in there last minute. That's because we've done um, that simple little hack, is what they call it, to be able to have Chrome and the MyFitnessPal website calculate the net carbs for you. Now, when you're using Firefox, you're going to do basically the same thing. But you're going to use something called Grease Monkey. So I don't know why they all have monkey names. So, but this one's called Grease Monkey. If you use Firefox, what you are going to want to do is click on the link that I give you in this article. And, and if you're watching this on YouTube, go click on the link in the description bar below and go to my website to the article and click on the link that takes you to the add-on slash grease monkey. I have taken it off of mine so I can show you how it's added on. All you're going to do is come here and you're going to click add to Firefox. You can see it's downloading it. Install add-ons only from Arthur's that you trust. That's the same thing that you would see um, on any browser you click install now and then it says you have to restart now it is restarting because now you're seeing my chrome in the background here it comes it's really fast and easy to do the fat longest it takes is right here when the Firefox browser is reloading. Then all you're going to do is you're going to put in, you're going to click on the other link that I give you in the article. That's the same link for either uh, Chrome or Firefox. Hit enter. And you're going to see this is the um, same type of thing that you're going to see on Chrome. You should only install scripts from sources that you trust. Always, 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 but this is fine. Click install. And you see it says my fitness pal percentages and net carbs installed successfully. Click OK. And when you come back over, you see here we are on Firefox and it just popped in the net carbs. So it's that fast and easy. So I just want to quick show you something real fast. If I am adding food here and I'm eating something that has alcohol sugars in it, remember I told you if you waited to the end of the video, I would show you how a workaround. Okay, so I'm going to have a Quest Bar. And a Quest Bar, I love them. They're my favorite. They have so many flavors and they're just absolutely delicious. They have a lot of alcohol sugars in them. Now, if you calculate your net carbs by subtracting out your fiber and your alcohol sugars, this workaround to get net carbs on my fitness pal will not deduct out alcohol sugars. So you have to make sure that you're cognizant of that fact when you're searching for something. So I have, if you if you look here, I have Quest Bar net bars net carbs per bar. What I do is I put in whatever I'm looking for. Um, Quest Bar, Quest Protein Bar, whatever, and I type in net carbs.
and I search that way so that I'm finding things that already have them um, figured into it. Now, some will be right and some will not be right. Let me see if I can find one that's wrong. If I go to nutritional value, this one is wrong. It will work out okay, but it's going to return an error message for you because it's showing the dietary fiber is higher than the net carbs. It's going to show that red line, a red bar on your um on your uh, diary. If you don't want it to do that, find one where it, uh, hold on. And be, caught, and be aware that it depends on which bar, and you can just do it this way. This is this one here. But everyone is different. They vary between three and five carbs. If you have one that happens to be three net carbs, you can use this one. But go through and find the one that's the actual net carbs of the flavor that you're eating. And um, I have to tell you that you're going to find things on myfitnesspal.com that are wrong. And that is why I have been hesitant to use it up until now. I use it now to help my readers and everybody on the group, but I double check and triple check everything before I use it. This right here is this data accurate. They never had that before. And any app, any service is only as good as its databases. And MyFitnessPal allows anyone and everyone to add to their database, whether that information or not. Up until now, there was never even a way of saying, no, 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 that's wrong. So I just stayed away from it. They're getting better because they allow people to tell them if it's right or wrong. But I always advise you the first time you add any new item into your diary, make sure that you double and triple check it to make sure it has the right information for you before you use it. So then... If I added this to my f food diary as a snack, you can see that it is showing up as three net carbs. If I had put it in um, without that, it would show that it has a heck of a lot more carbs because it, uh, it's only going to deduct out the fiber. So that's it. It's super, super easy. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave it in a comment below, either on YouTube or on the article. I check both regularly. I'm also always in and out of our Facebook group, the Low Carb Challenge. I invite you to join us. We have a super group of thousands of really great members. There's, they're always there willing to help. Very supportive, no negative, and we love you all to death. We're thrilled to have you. So come on over. This is Marge Burkell from SkinnyOnLowCarb.com. Until next time, ciao for now.